Hi, we're Ellie and David, and we're overlanding across Europe and Central Asia in our Land Rover Defender Yak. In this episode, we cross the border into Turkey and spend a couple of days in Istanbul during a snowstorm before heading down to the south coast. We've reached the Turkish border. There are a lot of lorries around, so we're not sure whether this is the right place for us to be. We're kind of stuck between two lanes now, so we're not sure what to do. <laughs> we've just overtaken about 50 trucks, and I wasn't sure if we were allowed to. I don't want to make anyone angry, but we've just been waved on there. I think we can go this way. That's motorhomes and buses. I reckon we should do that one. Um, I'm, I'm yeah. going to go one. Yeah, I think this is right. We're about 15, 20 minutes into the centre of Istanbul and our indicator has stopped working. So when we indicate, you get a buzzing from the relay. So I think we need a new relay, but it's not exactly in perfect timing. Um, it's been quite stressful not being able to let people know which way we go. So having to stick our hands out the window to let people know we're coming in. We've just driven into the old town and we're looking for somewhere to park now, which I think is going to be a bit tricky. Hi, hi Mustafa. Yeah, we're, we're outside the flat. We couldn't find it for a while. Um, but we're just wondering where we're going to park. I'm just chatting with these guys here. He says, uh, you can, they said we can park just here outside. Somewhere. We're off to go and find some something to eat because we haven't had lunch uh, and it's now eight o'clock, so we're quite hungry. What did you get, David? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Alexander Cabal. It's really coming down now. The guys yesterday said we could park overnight, but we need to move it before 10 because that's when the deliveries start coming in. So I'm going to go and find a place now to park it. Uh, hopefully it won't be too slippery, but I'm sure it'll be fine. We've been told by an Instagram friend who lives in Istanbul that it can get a bit chaotic here on the roads when it snows. So hopefully David will be all right and we'll be okay getting out tomorrow and won't be stuck here too long. We're about to leave the apartment now and we're going to go and see the Grand Bazaar and the Blue Mosque in the snow. Another day, another crash. What have we got there, Ellie? We picked up a few different Turkish delights when we're in the Grand Bazaar. Um, so we're going to try them. I think we've got some like pistachio ones and hazelnut and stuff. So this one looks like pistachio. I think it's got like halva in the middle. Looks good. Should I try it? Yeah. Mmm. Looks good. <laughs> Do you want to try the chocolate one? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a bit different. It's good. I think it's got hazelnuts in it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm not sure what's in this one, but it's really pretty. I'm off to go and get the Land Rover. We had to park it somewhere else this morning because uh, you weren't allowed to park it from after 10 uh, outside the flat where we were last night. It was pretty stressful trying to find a place to park the Land Rover. I, we were, I was going around a load of one-way streets um, and it's not marked very clearly so I ended up going down a couple of one-way streets the wrong way which uh, the locals weren't too happy with. Um, but loads of people were helping out um, so I'm off to bring the Land Rover back now. Yak is still there in one piece. managed to get to the right part of the street I need to get in there down that side street obviously currently blocked by that van but also not sure I'll make that turning because of that tuk-tuk so we'll see how things go been sat for 10 minutes now they're in no particular rush to move which is fine we've got time but don't want to block anyone behind us we've managed to make it halfway around the corner uh, but now there's a bike in the way so waiting for someone to come and move it we are so very close now of parking just by that white building over there just waiting for this van to move don't know how long they're going to be but again in no rush finally back at the flat and um, parked outside it took five minutes to drive here from the parking lot where we were today but it took another 45 minutes to actually get parked outside um, as i was driving through the streets i kind of got to know it a little bit more i didn't end up going down any one-way streets this time, which is good. When we were in Albania with our friend Bimi, he said that in Albania and a lot of the countries around here, uh, the person with the right of way on the road is the person with the most conviction. Uh, and here, that's mostly the taxi drivers, but it also can be the stray dogs, pedestrians. Uh, so it was a little bit tricky for us with the uh, indicators not working. <laughs> So Ellie's having a little bit of a freak out. What's what's just happened, Ellie? We just went to a corner shop down the road just to get some crisps and stuff. And I felt something touch my shoe. And I thought it might have been one of the kumquats or something from the bag that we just bought. Um, and I looked down and there was like a flash of grey on the floor. So I think, I'm hoping it wasn't a rat. I think a mouse just went over my foot. So I'm freaking out a bit. <laughs> We've woken up and it's come down really heavily overnight. Uh, we're supposed to be leaving in about half an hour to drive down to the south coast. So hopefully the roads will be clear enough for us to, to leave. This is meant to be a one-way street, but we've just been told to go down here by someone on the road. I think it's fine. It's a bit slushy, but we're just taking it easy. Looks like this van up ahead has got stuck. <laughs> David's just gone over with the waffle boards to try and help me get out. <laughs> So it's a little bit crazy this morning. Uh, the van in front of us is all sliding, <laughs> um, really struggling. Uh, I think everyone in the town is here to help. The uh, waffle boards didn't really seem to, seem to do much. It looks like it's free now. Uh, and the all terrain is having no problem at all. <laughs> We're just coming up to the underpass to get out of the old city now. I think it's, yeah, it's 2.5 metres, so we're only just okay, but it should scrape the snow off the roof a bit. And we're through. It's 
road we were on uh, coming into the city. We were on it for about an hour and a half. It was so busy uh, and it's just completely clear now. We're driving through a tunnel at the moment. When we get to the other side, we'll officially be in Asia. We're just in an industrial park at the moment looking for the Land Rover park shop. What's it called? Kyla Otto. We're hoping we can find another indicator relay here. I think they are the fattest tyres I've ever seen. So they've just given us the relay and I just went to go and check and see if everything was working. Um, it's not quite fixed it but we'll figure it out but they've just given it to us free as a, a welcome to Turkey gift which is really really nice. We forgot to say as well, uh, whilst we were there they gave us these really cool little pen knives. Um, so thank you so much Kyla Otto for all your help uh, and if you are in the Istanbul area and you're stuck I would recommend getting in contact with these guys, they're really helpful uh, and they've got loads of stuff in stock. Outside Fethiye, uh, a city on the south coast of Turkey, um, we found a spot on Google Maps that looks like we might be able to camp there tonight. So we're just heading down there now, just towards that bay down there. We had to turn around because the track was blocked. Uh, we've ended up coming around to the other side of the island and found a really amazing spot on the beach here. We're off to go snorkeling now and explore the bay. found a tap this morning uh, over the other side of some beach huts and I thought I'd fill up all the uh, jerry cans whilst we're here and so I filled them up, walked back and forth with the lifesaver just in case the water wasn't super clean uh, and then I went to fill it up the last time I got back and Ellie was cleaning her teeth and said the water tasted slightly salty and didn't realise that the tap is just for washing your feet uh, when you've come off the beach. Um, so we filled up all of our jerry cans with salt water so now we're having to rinse this up with some water I bought from a cafe over there. Um, so clean out the jerry, this one, and then uh, we'll do the other two later. So David made a bit of a mistake. <laughs> We've also run out of cash, we can't buy any more water, so we're going to spend maybe the day here. We were hoping to stay here for a couple of days, but we're going to need to go to town and buy some more water so we can fill up all the jerry cans with that.
We've woken up with a lot of sheep around the Land Rover. <laughs> Xanthos, we just looked up on Google Maps, but it's really cool. We're driving to Myra or Mira again, not sure how you pronounce it. Uh, some old ruins, I think you've got like tombs built into the side of uh, the cliff face, so we're gonna go and have a look at that. So we've come to Myra, which are old rock tombs built into the walls here. Um, it's an old town that changed hands a few times I think it was well, wiki says it was ruled by the Bi Byzantines and then the Greeks and then the Ottomans it's 5th century BC so it's pretty old and um, we're really looking forward to having a little look around lot to shave off anyway. It's a great mirror. Oh yeah. David's cooking a gourmet meal for us tonight. What are we having? We are having basically tomato soup in a packet. We're having a nice slow morning this morning. Ellie's up in the tent somewhere doing editing for the next bit of YouTube. And I'm gonna use the time this morning to grease the props and get a few other bits done. A couple of checks on the Land Rover. I've already greased the accessible parts of the prop shaft but forgot obviously I'm gonna to have to rotate it to get the other side. So we've jacked the Land Rover up with the bottle jack, taken it out of gear and taken the handbrake off put chocks in front of the wheels so that we can spin the wheels and the props to get the other side. I'm Dennis. And I'm Natalie. <laughs> we are traveling from Belgium. Uh, we try to go to Mongolia. 